Hello everyone! Welcome to Math is Fun! Our lesson for today is all about introduction to sets, well-defined sets, and subsets. Before we go further to our topic for today, let's do first this activity. Classify the following objects according to their properties. Just pause this video, then write down your answer on a piece of paper or you can do it mentally. Okay, let's answer the activity. So, we have here a group of numbers. Next, a group of toys. And lastly, a group of fruits. So, for a group of numbers, we're going to name this as set A. For a group of toys, we're going to name this as set B. And lastly, for a group of fruits, we're going to name this as set C. Did you get the same answer as mine? If yes, congratulations! If not, don't worry, you will learn more as we go farther with our lesson for today. The answers in our previous activity, as we named them as set A, set B, and set C, are all about set. What is a set? Alright, set is any collection of objects or elements, just like in our examples. So we have set of numbers, next a set of toys, and lastly a set of fruits. Okay, this is all about set. Hey, let's discuss about the elements in a set. As we previously defined that set is a collection of objects or elements. It is named using capital letter. Each object in a set is called an element. This is the symbol for an element. For example, Set A is a set of days in a week. So, what are the days in a week? Alright, these are the days in a week. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are the elements of set A. In symbol, we can write, for example, Tuesday is an element of A. Another example, Sunday is an element of A. The theory of sets as developed by George Cantor is being used in all branches of mathematics nowadays. According to him, a set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects of our perception or of our thought to be conceived as a whole. When we say well-defined set, it must be clear that which object belongs to the set and which does not. If it is not clear which object belongs to the set and which does not, then this is not a set. So we have here an example of a well-defined set. A set of prime numbers less than 10. But before that, what do you mean by prime number? Alright, a prime number is a number having only two factors, one and the number itself. So, the set of prime numbers less than 10 are 2, 3, 5, and 7. So, here it is very clear that which object belongs to the set. Try to look at this example. 
a collection of good students in the class. So, is this a well-defined set or this is not a set? Yes, you are right. This example is not a set because there is no definite rule supplied to determine whether a particular student is good or not. So another example of not a set is a collection of excellent singers. So we have here some examples of well-defined set. The first one is a set of even numbers from 50 to 60. What is an even number? Alright, even number is a number which is divisible by 2. It ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Therefore, the set of even numbers from 50 to 60 are 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, and 60. Another example. Set of integers from negative 2 to positive 2. What do you mean by integer? Yes. Integer is a whole number that can be positive, negative, and zero. So, the set of integers from negative 2 to positive 2 are negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. Another example, a set of odd numbers from 30 to 40. What do you mean by odd number? Alright, odd number is a number which is not divisible by 2. So the set of odd numbers from 30 to 40 are 31, 33, 35, 37, and 39. Next, a set of whole numbers less than 5. So, what do you mean by whole number? Yes, whole number is any positive integer including 0. So, the set of whole numbers less than 5 are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Next, we're going to discuss about subset. Set A is said to be a subset of set B if all the elements of set A are also present in set B. B is then the superset of A. This is the symbol of subset. So, what are the elements of set A? Alright, the elements of set A are X and Y. How about set B? Since set A is a subset of B, then the elements of B are X, Y, and Z. The subsets of any set consist of all possible sets including its elements and the null set. For example, find all the subsets of set A. So the elements of A are 1, 2, 3, and 4. If a set has an n elements, then the number of subsets of the given set is 2 to the n. n is the number of elements. So 2 to the n is equal to 2 to the 4th. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. Therefore, the subsets of set A are 16. So these are the subsets of set A.
Okay, there are 16 subsets of set A, including the null set. Next, we're going to discuss about the types of subset. The first one is the proper set. What do you mean by proper set? Set A is considered to be a proper subset of set B if set B contains at least one element that is not present in set A. For example, set A is 9 and 18. And for set B, we have 9, 18, and 27. Set A is the proper subset of B because 27 is not present in the set A. This is the symbol for a proper subset. Okay, we have here a formula how we're going to find the proper subset of a given set. So the formula is 2 to the n minus 1. For example, find the proper sets of set A having an elements of A, B, and C. So we're going to use this formula, 2 to the n minus 1. N is the number of elements in a set. So here we have three elements, A, B, and C. So 2 to the third minus 1. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. Therefore, we have seven proper sets of set A, having an elements of A, B, and C. So, the proper sets are... As we can see, we have seven proper sets. The second type of a subset is an improper set. What is an improper set? A subset which contains all the elements of the original set is called an improper subset. It is denoted by this symbol. For example, set N is equal to 3, 6, 9, and 12. So the improper set is 3, 6, 9, and 12. This is an example of improper set. So, let's discuss about the properties of subsets. The first one is, every set is considered as a subset of a given set itself. It means that X is a proper set of X or Y is a proper set of Y, and etc. We can say an empty set is considered as a subset of every set. X is a subset of Y. It means that X is contained in Y. If a set X is a subset of set Y, we can say that Y is a superset of X. That's all for today. I hope that you learned something about the sets.